me luck, man. Wish me luck, whoever's watching this in advance. Um, oh my gosh, my window won't roll up, dude. What the heck? I wish I could be confident in this, but I'm about to go try to get my sticker for uh, for my 1962 Chevy Impala. So let's see how that goes. I have all my paperwork. This is my second time coming. The first time I needed a signature, so I went and and um, got a hold of the lady and got her to sign this other paper. Anyways, it's my second time coming. Um, I've been waiting for a good Monday, a day off, to where I can do it. Haven't, it hasn't been working out, but today I'm gonna come early before work, and uh, let's see if see if we can get it done, man. I'm trying to I'm trying to put some tags on it so I can be so I can drive it around and not feel, you know, not right, you know. So I'm excited, but hopefully I pray it works. Boy, out. your boy switch hats, but your boy is now is now a, a driving. Uh, how do I explain this? Your boy is legal, you know? It's legal. It's like I'm an immigrant. I just got my papers or something, dude. I am street legal. Yes, sir. $450 later. I didn't even ask for a receipt. I have temporary plates. I have my sticker, dude. And I'm driving right now. It's a dangerous. I'm, I got my sticker. I got my temporary plates. Gosh, damn, that took half a year, man. Half a year of working. Half a year of my sister got me the inspection illegally. Half a year of, of, of trial and error. Half a year of... I'm now street legal. I can drive with a free conscience. I can drive late at night. I don't have to worry about... I'm so happy, dude. I'm so glad. I'm going back home and I can't wait to put these stickers on my car, man. I gotta make this little thank you video. Um, video of me thanking people so, thank you I couldn't have been um, street legal driving on the streets legally um, I would like to do this in my in my Impala but I'm gonna do it right here right now um, first of all I'd like to thank Gabriel a guy I work with um, really good friend of mine became a good friend of mine um, he's the one who drove behind me from Austin to San Marcos which is 30 miles he drove behind me to watch my back so I wouldn't get pulled over because none of my lights work my car it was barely started he drove and followed me to get the tires put on and he got me to safety one sun it was like Saturday or Sunday it was a foggy day and we drove he helped he, he drove early in the morning to help me to help me put the fuel pump on to help me with it he he helped he helped me he was there for me and i i couldn't have done this without him um my sister aubrey she got the connections with the inspection she got me inspected back when you know the car back when you know there were the lights weren't even working right she's the one who got my inspection sticker she she had the connection she knew the guy that could pass me and I, and I was afraid it wasn't going to work because it was more than three months after, I mean, I, I didn't get this sticker until until four months later after I got that inspection, so, but the, it, it went through and it worked, and now I have my sticker. I couldn't have done it with my friend E. Eric, um, a hometown of San Marcos friend of mine that I met, he's the one who's, he's the one who, um, He's the one who got me into all this. Um, I was into music. I was into cars, and he was like, "Check out this, you know, lowrider," and he's check out these old school cars. And I'm, he's the one who inspired me to get this car. He's me and him. We went down. There's pictures of us. I took pictures um, of us checking out this car, just looking at it for the first time. And um, I couldn't have done it without him because when we brought it home, me and E did nothing but work work on it we worked religiously on it like in the mornings it was just me and him dude and we worked on it cleaned it up as much as we could 
who else helped me? My friend Julius. Julius helped me with it. Um, Julius, through messages. I didn't even I didn't even see him in, in, in real life. Julius is a friend of mine I used to work with, close friend of mine, and we uh, were talking on through Instagram messages. And he was, I was asking questions about stuff that kept failing, stuff that kept. You know, there's a lot of things that I don't know, and he knows a lot about classic cars, and he helps. He helped me with it, and his dad helped me with it, and I couldn't have done it without Julius, dude. And um, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? And uh, Ricky, my sister's friend Ricky, he's the one who helped me put on the carburetor. He did all this through Instagram messaging. I sent pictures. I'm like, does this? So I don't know how to hook up a carburetor. I didn't even know what a carburetor was, and he helped me hook up a carburetor telling me where where each hoses go where things go on the carburetor and we went back and forth back and forth and he took his time took the time out of his day to help me for free dude for free for free and he, and he helped me and i got the carburetor on the carburetor is the thing that makes the car run smoothly dude i couldn't have done it without any of these people man i'm forever grateful dude I'm, and i'm thankful and i'm grateful and there's gonna be more people i'm gonna meet there's gonna be more things you know more 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 experiences along the way but i'm here right now street legal let's go baby let's 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 cruise